Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x plus y times 1 plus 1 over xy is equal to 5. Then we also have x squared plus y squared times 1 plus 1 over x squared times y squared is equal to 49. And we have to find the values of x and y. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to multiply the whole of this one by this. So we have x times 1 is x, then plus x times 1 over xy is x over xy, then plus y times 1 is y, then plus y times 1 over xy is y over xy, and this is equal to 5. Now you can see that this x will cancel this x, then this y will cancel this y, so we have x plus 1 over y plus y plus 1 over x, and this is equal to 5. Now grouping like terms, we have x plus 1 over x, then plus y plus 1 over y, and this is equal to 5. Now from here, I'm going to let A equals x plus 1 over x, then B equals y plus 1 over y. So this equation now becomes A plus B equals 5. And I'm going to call this equation equation 1. Now let's focus on this equation. From here, I'll also multiply this one by this. So we have x squared plus x squared over x squared times y squared, then plus we have y squared plus y squared over x squared times y squared is equal to 49. And then from this one to straight away this x squared will cancel this x squared, then this y squared will also cancel this y squared. So we have x squared plus 1 over y squared, then plus y squared plus 1 over x squared, and this is equal to 49. So grouping like terms, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared, then plus we have y squared plus 1 over y squared, and this is equal to 49. Now let's study this equation very carefully. I'll rewrite this whole thing as x plus 1 over x or to the second power minus 2 then plus then I'll also rewrite this whole thing as y plus 1 over y or to the second power minus 2 and this is equal to 49. Now the reason why we have the whole of this is that if you expand this one, we have x squared plus 2x over x, then plus 1 over x squared, then minus 2. Now straight away you can see that this x will cancel this x. Now you realize that we have positive 2 over here, then we also have negative 2 over here. So they will cancel each other, so this expression becomes x squared plus 1 over x squared and this whole thing is the same as this one and the same thing applies to this one as well so we have x plus 1 over x o to the second power then plus y plus 1 over y o to the second power is equal to now we have negative 2, negative 2, which is negative 4. So if I move negative 4 to this side, it will be positive 4. So 4 plus 49 is nothing but 53. And don't forget that the whole of this one is equal to a, and then the whole of this is equal to b. So this equation becomes a squared plus b squared is equal to 53. Okay? And I'm going to call this equation, equation 2. And don't forget that we have equation 1, which is a plus b is equal to 5. Okay? 
Now we have these two equations and we have to solve them concurrently. One way to solve these equations is to make one of these variables the subject and then substitute into this equation and then solve for it. Okay, but I'm not going to use that method. I'm going to use different approach. Now from here, I'll raise each side of this equation to the second power. Okay, now expanding this one, we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to 25. Now we know the value of a squared plus b squared from equation 2, okay, which is 53. So in place of this one, I'm going to put 53 here, then plus 2ab is equal to 25. Now let's go ahead and then make 2ab the subject, and this is equal to 25 minus 53. So we have 2ab is equal to negative 28. So from here, let's go ahead and then divide each side of the equation by 2 so that this one will cancel this. Now this implies that AB is equal to negative 14. If you have A minus B or to the power square, this is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. Okay, we know A squared plus B squared to be 53. So I'm going to put 53 here then minus 2 into AB is negative 14, so we have negative 14 over here, okay? Now we have 53 here. Negative 2 times negative 14 is positive 28, and this is equal to 81, okay? So this implies that A minus B or to the second power is equal to 81. Now let's go ahead and then take square root on the both sides of the equation. And don't forget that we have plus or minus here. Now this square will cancel this square root. So we have a minus b is equal to plus or minus 9. Now this implies that a minus b is equal to 9 and a minus b is equal to negative 9. So I'm going to call this equation, equation star. Then I'll call this equation, equation hash. Okay. Now from equation 1, which is a plus b equals 5. Okay. So I'm going to say equation 1 plus equation star. So equation 1 is a plus b. Then equation star is a minus B and this is equal to 5 plus 9. Now you can see that this B will cancel this minus B so we have 2A over here and this is equal to 5 plus 9 is 14. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side by 2 so that this will cancel this. Now we have A equals 7. Okay then I'll also say equation 1 plus equation hash. Alright, so we have a plus b, then plus a minus b is equal to, equation 1 is equal to 5, then equation 2 is equal to minus 9. Okay, now this b will cancel this. So we have 2a is equal to 5 plus negative 9 is negative 4. Now dividing each side of the equation by 2, this one will cancel this. Now we have a equals negative 2. Now from this equation, making b the subject, we have b is equal to 5 minus a. So when a is equal to 7, we have b equals 5 minus 7. And this implies that b is equal to negative 2. Okay. Now when we come to this side, when a is equal to negative 2, we have b equals 5 minus minus 2, and this implies that b is equal to positive 7. Alright? y plus 1 over y equals b. Okay? x plus 1 over x is equal to 7. Now multiplying through by x, we have x squared plus 1 is equal to 7x. Equating everything to 0, we have x squared minus 7x 
plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here we will compare this one to the general quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a is never 0. Okay. Now if you compare the coefficient we have a equals 1, b equals negative 7 and then c is equal to 1. Plugging these values into the general quadratic equation formula which is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We have x to be minus b where b is negative 7 so it to be positive 7 then plus or minus. We have square root of b squared so negative 7 squared will be 49 then minus 4a where a is 1 and then c is also 1 so we have here to be 4 or divided by 2 times 1 is still 2. So we have x is equal to 7 plus or minus 49 minus 4 is 45. So we have square root of 45 over here and the whole thing is divided by 2. Okay, so here we have x is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 45 is 3 roots 5 and this is divided by 2. Now when a is equal to 7 from here we got b to be negative 2 so this implies that y plus 1 over y is equal to negative 2. Now let's go ahead and then multiply 2 by y so we have y squared plus 1 is equal to negative 2y. Now equating everything to 0 we have y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this equation could also be written as y squared plus y plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then factorize this equation. So we have y into y plus 1 then plus 1 into y plus 1 and this is equal to 0. Now we have y plus 1 then y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is the same as y plus 1 or to the second power is equal to 0. Now taking square root on both sides of the equation we have this will cancel this. Now we have y plus 1 is equal to 0 and this implies that y is equal to negative 1. Okay so we have x1 y1 is equal to 7 plus or minus 3 square root of 5 divided by 2 then negative 1. And this is one of the solutions. Now when a was found to be negative 2, b was found to be 7. So in the other way around, x2, y2 will be equal to negative 1 then 7 plus or minus 3 square root of 5 or divided by 2. And these are our final answers. You can go ahead and then plug these values into the equation to see whether they satisfy the equation. I have done it and you must also try it. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.